Today we're going to explore the prefix EX, which means out. Before we get into that though, we're going to start today with a little word game. For our word game today, we're going to use the EX prefix to try to figure out what this word on the top might be. We have some clues that we're going to use along the way to help us figure out this word. Okay, ready? We're going to start here on the bottom. So the bottom part tells us a sentence with this word. So it says, the book stands out because it is the best I have ever read. It is, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's keep that in our mind. This next in green is a definition of this word. So this word means extremely good or above all others, above all other things. Okay, here in brown, we have some synonyms for, the word, for this word. So these are synonyms. They mean sort of the same thing as this word that we're trying to figure out. So we know that a synonym for this word is outstanding, top notch, or exceptional. What do you think the word might be? You have some ideas? Let's look here at the one in pink. The one in pink tells us some antonyms for this word, some words that mean the opposite. Bad or inferior. Hmm. If something is inferior, it's um, sort of like less good than something else. Okay, let's put it all together. So we know the word we're trying to figure out has the prefix X, which means out. We know that an antonym for this word is bad or inferior. We know some synonyms for this word are outstanding, top notch, or exceptional. We know that this word means something that's extremely good or above all other things. And a sentence with this word is the book stands out because it is the best I have ever read. It is, mm. Okay, come in, what are you thinking our word might be today? Hmm. You might be thinking our word is excellent. Hmm, excellent. I'm going to write this up here and then let's check our thinking. Excellent. There's our EX prefix. Excellent. Hmm. So the opposite of excellent is bad. Yeah, if something's bad, it's definitely not excellent. And if something's inferior, right, it's less good. So that would mean not excellent, right? If I did inferior work for my teacher, it wouldn't be very good, would it? Let's see, excellent and outstanding. Those are words that we hear interchanged a lot, right? Used together, if I do an excellent job at school or I do an outstanding job at school, those mean similar things. Top notch means the very highest level, okay? Or exceptional, if something is exceptional, it stands out because it is so good or so excellent, huh? Excellent means extremely good or above all other things. Well, I know if I have an, an excellent day at school, it's a day that's been extremely good, better than all other days. So I think that works. Let's see if it works in our sentence. The book stands out because it is the best I have ever read. It is excellent. Yep, I think that makes sense, doesn't it? Excellent. So our word to get us started today is excellent, which has our prefix X meaning out. If something is excellent, it stands out. It stands above all other things. Thanks for playing with me today. So we've been exploring this prefix EX, which means out. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to work together to make a word spoke with some words that we think might have this prefix E or X, meaning out. So let's think about, take a minute and think about some words that you think might have the EX prefix meaning out. And we can start with one we just talked about and that is the word excellent. If something is excellent, it is so good that it stands out. And we even use the word out, don't we? When we talk about things that are excellent, something is excellent because it stands out. Cool, huh? What other words do you think might have the prefix ex and mean out? Mm, you might be thinking about the word exit. Right? The exit to a building, to a room is the way out. And there's our X prefix. Cool, huh? What about the word, hmm, hmm, you might know this word. If you have to put out a fire, if you need to call the fire department, they might need to do this to a fire. What do you think? I think I heard you say it. Extinguish. 
All right, extinguish this way. Extinguish. If you extinguish something, if you extinguish a fire, you put it what? Out. Cool, huh? Mm, here's a cool word. This word means something that stands out way above the ordinary. We can use it to describe weather. We can use it to describe sports. It is, I think I heard you say it, extreme. If something is extreme, it's, it's out of the ordinary, right? So if we have extreme weather, right? If we have a massive blizzard um, in May, that would be very extreme, wouldn't it? It would be out of the ordinary. Extreme sports are sports that are sort of done out of the ordinary, right? It's not your ordinary baseball or your ordinary biking. It's something that's even farther out. So in figurative meaning, right? Extreme meaning out. What about hmm, this word? If you make a mistake on your paper, you might want to do this. What might you want to do to it? You might want to erase it. Hmm, cool, huh? So there's our E prefix. What do we do when we erase? We rub something out. Neat, huh? What about if you might, maybe you kick something out or you might do this with a DVD or a video game, you might have to eject it. If you eject something, you push it, heard you say it, out. Cool, huh? What about, this is a word you might know from science class. You might know the word erode. What happens when soil is moved out of one place? The space, the area does what? It erodes. If something erodes, it wears out. And then we have that connected word to erode, the word erosion. You see how each of those words have that prefix E? because they share this idea of out. Something being moved out of one space, something being worn out. Pretty cool, huh? Here's another fun one. What happens if you get rid of something? Maybe you do this with an answer choice on a test that you know is not right, you take it out. Or maybe you do this to an opponent in a video game, you take them out, you, I think I heard you say it, eliminate them. So we eliminate, when you eliminate something, you remove it, you take it out. Pretty cool, huh? So one of the things you can do as you're reading, as you're exploring words, is be on the lookout for these prefixes. These prefixes are really powerful because they can help us figure out words we might not know, right? If you didn't know the word extinguish, you can look at that word and try to find a part you knew. Like, oh, well, I know X means out. That could help you. That would be one way into the word. The other way these, these prefixes can help you is they can help you to see connections between words. So you can see how words are related to each other because they share meanings of out. And that can also help you when you're trying to figure out a word when you're reading on your own. So thanks for exploring the EX prefix with me and we'll do some more exploring tomorrow. 